In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take video and audio from Discord calls, whether you want to add people in or add their gameplay into your stream. I'm going to show you how you can showcase whatever's on Discord inside Streamlabs OBS in a really quick and easy guide. This is going to be super quick. You can follow along and do this. You can use this for either just adding your friends to your Streamlabs or OBS really, really easily if you plan Discord calls quite a lot. Or you can go ahead and use this to maybe you know stream their gameplay or even use it as a secondary camera angle. So for example, you can see here on my screen, I have my video and then I have my phone set up here, which is just a secondary Discord account. And I've joined a call in my Discord server. And you can see I've got like a secondary camera angle pointing at me here. So you could use that as a secondary angle on your stream, which can like up the production quality of your stream. So let me show you how to do this. I've got Discord open here. I'm in a call. So this could either be, you know, your friend here or your secondary camera. All you need to do is come into your Streamlabs. Super, super easy. Come down to sources. In sources, we want to add a window capture. Click on add source, give it a name. So I'm going to call this Discord call. I'm going to click add source and then we need to select our window. So in here, you're going to be selecting the discord window. So we come down here to discord and then we click on done. Now, obviously, this is pulling in the whole discord window and it's now inside our scene. That's completely fine if you want to show all of that, but you probably only want to show the camera. So what you can actually do is hold alt on your keyboard and then simply just crop this to the camera. Now, the camera might change if you do mess around in Discord. So, for example, if I come over here and I click on this, it does now change that scene. So you need to make sure that, you know, you're keeping your scene the same on Discord while using this. Or if someone else joins the call, then the layout will change and you will have to adjust. So I've simply held alt down to crop this. And now I can move this anywhere I want on my screen. So I can add my friend into my call. I could even just use this as a secondary camera. I could add it in a different scene and then switch scenes when I wanted people to see a different part of my room, whatever it is. So super, super easy to do. Uh, and it actually looks really, really good here. And it's even like, you know, it's quite good camera quality just with an iPhone connected through Wi-Fi to Discord for that secondary camera angle. But that's how you add Discord to your call. Audio will also work with this. Again, you're probably just routing your Discord audio through your stream anyway before you even added this window capture in. So you're going to be hearing that audio. Obviously, like mute your phone if you are using it as a secondary camera angle. And that's pretty much it. You can also add multiple of these. For example, if you have multiple people in the call and you want separate kind of, you know, boxes here for each person, you can just add one and then you can come down here, click on add source again, window capture adding the same window capture. So we're just going to add a new one. And then you would say discord person two, add source. And then we can come in here again, just add discord. And for example, let's say the yellow box was the secondary person that I wanted to add right here. This little sloth worked pretty much good to go. And now you can have two people in the call. So for example, this one would look more like this where you can see the whole box. And now you have two cameras, you would have your main camera attached, then you could host like, you know, a little podcast style uh, video here directly in Streamlabs. You can really control it all from in here really, really easily. So that's it for this video. Again, as I said, super quick. If you like these quick tutorials that get straight to the point, hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe and check out getonstream.com. Also check out the link to owned down below in the description if you want to get a discount on your stream overlays, just like I have here on the screen. That is directly from own. Click on that down below. Get yourself a discount and level up your stream.